Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. I feel like I am nearing the end at the moment of this MS, the main story. I feel like I'm either going to finish, and I doubt, no, actually, I extremely doubt finishing everything in this episode. I think I'm going to be finishing this in probably two episodes, I guess. Also, I just looked at, this looks like a graphics card <laughs> with the fans on it. <laughs> ah, that's something that hit me. But yeah, let's uh, get to it, or else I won't be finishing this in this next episode, maybe. A comforting hand. While Glumut wishes to do what she can for the people of Solution 9. I've been thinking. By wearing regulars, the people of Alexandria have been sp spared the fear of death. That's because the device not only resurrects you, it also erases the memories of the, the departed. The very notion of dying would have become vague, if not forgotten. To be killed over and over, I can't imagine how traumatized the survivors must be. Even if they're not physically hurt, they would still need care. At a time like this, the citizens need their queen to console them, but where is she gone? I don't know. There are other districts, so perhaps she's checking on them. In any case, too much for her to handle alone. Countless people will be distraught, but we ought to provide them what comfort we can. So while Kashia and her Kakiwa, Kakiwa and her crew tend to those with physical injuries, let's seek out those wounds or uh, wounds who are mo uh, more emotional. Understood. If you and Bader want to concentrate in true view, the rest of us will see to other areas. Sounds like a plan. All right, everyone. We'll meet. Uh, we'll meet up in the back room after. I kid you not, the only reason why I made that noise is I haven't been paying attention to what I was saying on OBS. I'm like, wait, am I actually recording my... I am, okay. That's why I made that noise. I'm like, am I... Okay. I wasn't looking at the bars, and I'm like, wait, the mic like muted again. Because I've done that before. A stunned woman. I'm assisting by putting my hand out. Look at my hand. It's over. Still alive? I think, goodness. But it makes no sense. What right did the king have to destroy our lives like this? Give us back our peace. Leave us out of your damn war. Mm. An exhausted man. Very exhausted. Thank you. I'm alright, I think. Say, hey, you were fighting Queen Sphine, weren't you? You were fighting Queen Sphine, weren't you? The rumor's true, then? That Her Majesty isn't a living person? Their actual body is elsewhere? In the cloud or some such? And she uses a special power to appear before us? I've always wondered why the Alexandrians never questioned her true nature. Now I think I understand why. She personally fought to protect us. That's enough for, m for me to know she's a worthy ruler. Doesn't matter what she is. Well, he's alive. No, never mind. It was this guy who gave us the drink. Let's talk to Trembling Man. Oh, I need to look at these more. I love the designs on them. <laughs> Never have I been so scared in my life. I died in an accident before, but it was nothing compared to this. To be killed again and again and again, it was a living nightmare. And King Zerolja was behind it, you say. He suddenly appeared. He's done nothing good for us. He only thinks of war. Ordered more soldiers to be produced. And now he's unleashed them on us? He's no king of mine. He's a murderer and someone needs to make him pay. No, I actually really like that artwork and all that. I want one of these drinks. Granted, if they ever did make those drinks, FF uh, Square Enix stuff is extremely overpriced. And I would not want to buy a drink for like 80 bucks. That's the thing. I would love to buy more Final Fantasy XIV merch or more things off the Square Enix store. The problem is it's all overpriced. Heck, they even have a really nice black watch for Final Fantasy VII on sale. Oh, that's a decent looking watch. Yeah, that thing went for like $3,000. Oh my holy cow. Okay, I'm not buying me a watch. You head into the back room? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Um, I do not see Aaronville, so I don't know what happened. Alright. 
It seems things are somewhat under control, while Isla's and the others are still out there. I couldn't help but worry about Galusha. He hasn't uttered a word, a small wonder given his ordeal. I'm gonna go talk to him about everything. Right as he is, there's no he's hiding it. He'll eventually find out, and it hurt him more. Very well. Above all, he needs to know that he isn't alone. Make your own child suffer so. I cannot comprehend the heartlessness, says the robot dead woman. We've managed to seal off access routes on all levels. Any remaining soldiers should be contained now. Oh wait, I can move while we're talking? I didn't know that. I never messed with these. Oh, that's a thing. We shouldn't. We couldn't have done it without you and yours out there fighting. Thank you. Last game I know you can do that was Chrono Trigger. Hey, Galusha, how are you doing? Your father strangled you. Are you okay? All right, let me have a sip of coffee before we do anything. Are you all right, Guloja? Lots of people are dead because of my father, aren't they? That's... And Otis... He's gone too, isn't he? He went out like a true knight. I'm sorry. My father is a bad man. That's why you're going to kill him, aren't you? Forget it. I don't care anymore. This is your job now. We can't do anything. We're not his family, you are. Listen to me, Kulucha. You're right. We're going to confront your father. He invaded Tulihyola and hurt my people. As vow of resolve, it's my duty to bring him to justice. Don't you think of him as family anymore? After the attack, I was filled with rage. I told myself over and over that he's no brother of mine. <sighs> but it isn't so simple. No matter what I feel or say, all those years I spent striving to live up to his example, they won't just disappear. What's more, it's because we're family that we have to correct each other when someone goes astray. That's why I must confront my brother, like your grandfather did, even though it cost him his life. But... Otis is gone now. If my father was gone too, Then... I'd have no one. What are you saying, Golja? Take a look around. You have us, Gulucha. All of us. 
will be with you through thick and thin. You're not alone. You'll never be alone again. You adopt him. I'm not taking care of him. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I didn't listen and followed you. But I want to stop my father and to maybe understand why he did what he did. Mm-hmm. They have been keeping a lot inside. Oh, they have been. Yeah, they have been keeping a lot inside. Both Galusia and Wakuman. Yep. You should get some rest, Galusia. You've been through a lot. I do feel a bit sleepy. There's a room in the back you could use. Could you take Galusia there? I will. Thank you. Now, me and you can chat about you being dead. The things I would say to Zorolja as a mother. But I better not get started. Instead, let me thank you. We couldn't have gotten, uh, gotten through this without you and yours. Until the others return, you ought to take... What is going on? Okay. So I'm just very curious what's going on here. Until the others return, you ought to take a rest while you can. It isn't over yet, after all. You could head... Prepare... Otherwise feel for the back room. Are you okay? Like, I mean, a fuzzy image, you say? It, is it still happening? Well, it's an old worn thing. There's bound to be a few hitches. There's nothing to worry about, though. We'll have a meeting to discuss our next move in a little while. So until then, even I'm like, yeah, no, something's up. Mm, she's definitely going to perish during the story. Sounds like either this machine's getting old or something. Unto the summit. Hash Kakui wishes to hold a strategy meeting. Had enough rest, have you? Then let's round everyone up. Well, technically I didn't even rest, but yeah, let's do this. This room reminds me of the Xenoblade Chronicles X on the Wii U. Oh, Go and voice act this for me. Put the coffee down. Okay. <clears throat> During your confrontation with him, Zorolja bade Wakulmuk come to the tower summit. Problem is, the elevators have been locked down due to a state of emergency. A very meh game by Rockstar on PS2. It had two games, State Emergency 1 and 2. We've been working to lift the access restrictions, but frankly, it's not looking promising. Are there any other ways we can get to Zorosha? And this is where the dungeon we're about to do, I believe, comes in. We believe so. Yeah, they're not there's no way they're passing up to make this a dungeon. As you know, Solution 9 occupies Everkeep's 9th level. The summit, meanwhile, is the 12th. The map appears to be cut off. While the, king's and, the king and queen's residence is believed to be located there, the details are highly classified, hence the lack of map data. We do, however, have a reliable intelligence concerning everything up to that 11th level. What is this place? This is Organics. Or yeah, Organics. Orgenics. There we go. Orgenics. The facility where souls are separated and refined for use. And Galu Zorolja is literally pumping himself full of souls right now. The process begins at the base of the extraction of with the with the extraction of souls from regulars and fiends. 
Those souls are then transported up to the Aetheric Separator, where they are cleansed of memories. Finally, they are packed within soul cells for dis... dis I'm sorry, I just woke up. Distribu... Distribution. Jesus, me. Come on. 12 for... 12 for Fend. They were created the process by which souls are broken down in ethereal sea. An affront them to nature. I know, but ethereal discussions must wait. The salient point is uh, the facility extends vertically from the 1st to the 11th level. Now, Zerulja intends to strengthen himself with the people's souls as strong as we strongly suspect. Oh, he's going to be down here. Oh, wait, no, sorry. There. Then the facility will be operating to process and transport those souls directly to him on the 12th level. So in order to reach the Rolja, we must make our way through Orgenics, or we can make ourselves become souls, which sounds like a horrible idea. Dude, let's not do that. Precisely. As the facility subs uh, sustains the Alexandrian way of life, security will be extremely tight. Yeah, I expected that. But if you're willing to brave the route, we'll back up, back you up the best as we can. What say you? Oh yeah, we got this. It goes out saying that we're going. I've never had any doubt. I'm coming to. You'll need guidance on sight, and this body makes me best suited. Hold it. For yourself, I have to ask. And this is where he's going to bring it up finally. All this time, you've. Oh, never mind. All this time, you've known that Sphine is an endless, haven't you? Yes, we have. Why didn't you tell us? Honestly, it didn't seem relevant to the matters at hand. More complicated to explain than it was worth, and a distraction from our efforts to deal with Zerulja. Speaking of which, we should get moving. Those who are sallying, sallying forth, we, ha we, we gather in front of the tower. We can count on you to provide support from here, yes? Of course. Don't worry, Aaronville. We all know. Well... I don't know if everyone knows, but I know. Literally. I need to talk to you about... Never mind. You can wait. Lest you wonder, I have no objections to remaining here. Someone needs to keep those in Tuliolo formed. Best of luck to you. Alright, Aaronville. Alright, let's get moving. Second. Just quicker to do it that way, honestly. But yeah, I have a feeling they're gonna use that as a dungeon. There's no way they're not. Also, yes, I still yet to do any of this, so by the time I finish the story, I will be I still have yet to go there. Oh, I'm running the wrong way. I was paying attention to the map. 
I mean, I guess I could turn this quest in and do these. Why am I running? I have a mount. Um, you do not want to chase me. I'm a level 99. I'm shocked they're not attacking. Also, what was that? Alright. Thoralja has no king. Not anymore. For the sake of Tuliola, the world, we must put an end to his madness. I've spoken with Altanoth. Apparently the dragons come came to Tuliola's aid. Yeah, nice. I'm coming too, of course. This is what I've worked so hard to be a part of. The sum of Everkeep. Finally, we shall see what the clouds conceal. That's true, actually, because a bunch of... Like, there's a big platform up there. There is. Hmm. But then there's clouds right there, so you just can't see it. I'm debating whether or not I'm doing these four quests. Uh, I don't know. All present in California? Excellent. We'll make for the summit in one push. This will be a grueling climb, so see to it you spare no preparation. really do when I get those four quests out of the way. Uh, well, I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? I'm debating real hard right now. I really am. It's like, I can just do this. Mm. And it'd be a shame to leave you guys too hanging on this note because you know you probably want to see the dungeon more than doing four side quests for nothing. No! I am sorry. I'm not doing the compass, don't worry. I'm just doing these four quests and getting them out of the way now. I should have done it when they said, you have a lull, but the problem is I didn't want to go back there and all that. So, they're going to wait over there for me. They said to prepare. I'm going to take time to prepare. That's what this is. So, once again, I am sorry, but I do need to get these done one day. Dorian. Breast testing. Dorian's uncertainty is palpable. Pardon me, adventurer. But my trouble, the lend me at your aid. I found myself in a rather troublesome predicament. Earlier today, we were, we were sent a soldier and asked to test out its improvements, improved, improved combat functionality. I asked a hunter to take out patrol, but not long afterwards, I lost contact with them completely. I know the signal is weak out there, but I can't help but worry something might have gone terribly wrong. From the look of you, you can handle your, your you can handle your fair share of danger. Yes. Can you go out for me to the Thunder Yards and see if you can find them for me? The problem is you took them to the Thunder Yards and they specifically said, Oh, hey, by the way, um, they'll, mal they'll malfunction if they get struck by lightning. So I think that is what happened. Yeah, forgive me, but I need to get these done. And if I just leave him and keep leaving him and keep leaving him, well, you saw what happened. I had like eight quests. No, sorry, not eight. Jeez. There's four in total in each area. I had like, a, you saw the video. It was nothing but quests. Like, granted, some I do not do side quests much, but sometimes they're fine. But uh, these ones are important to even be able to fly. And then there's other ones that have the plus mark, which are usually like raids, mounts, uh, and stuff like that. Yasalani. But yeah. Also, I have yet to explore over here. There's a lot of things I haven't done yet in this map. Okay, let's see. Was it struck by lightning? 
that what happened? <laughs> yeah. Ill fated hunter. Let me guess, malfunctioned immediately. You okay? Save my life. For a moment. For a moment there. Thought I'd used I uh, had to use my regulator. Now I somehow doubt in the now I somehow doubt an adventure like you just so happily passing through. The researcher sent you to find me, didn't he? Better head back and explain what happened. You might as well join me. I'm sure he'll want to know you're safe. Alright. I could teleport. Yeah, you know what, 60 gil, it's quicker for you guys. Quicker for me also. Fun fact, this hand mount is a really early one you can get with enough achievement points. It's a really cool mount. Hey, Dorian. The hunter told me everything from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for taking such swift action. These soldiers require energy gathered from lightning, and yet lightning also uh, proves to be their weakness. Apparently it took a nasty jolt in the thunder yards and went berserk. Honestly, why are they tinkering with offensive output when they could be correcting this glaring flaw in the design? Rest assured, the engineer in charge will hear all about this in my report. Sorry for the trouble, I hope this small token will suffice as compensation. I'm not sure how you had that in your pocket, but I'll gladly accept. Alright, where's the other one? Nanake. No, sorry, Naka... Nakante? Auntie knows best. Nakante... Nakate is fretting over her young charge as she is wont to do. Wait, what? Nanake is fretting over her young charge as she is wont to do. I don't think this is correct. That doesn't sound right to my brain. Want to do. Want to. I don't know. I'm just gonna stop reading that. Oh, shallow. W what am I ever gonna do with you? I keep telling you to take a hunter with you when you leave town. Well, if it isn't Her Majesty's guest, did you enjoy your tour of. Uh, Yippie's. Uh, Yippie's Halo? I was told you even helped set the water distribution system to rights. You know, I could use someone with your talents right about now. The woman in charge of the very farm just left for the wilderness without bodyguard. Seems to me she's investigating something, but that's no reason to put herself in danger. Last I heard, she was seen walking up the hill to the east farm. Did you go and make sure she's alright? Oh, with a relief. They're looking for uh, a young Shatona by the name of Shali Shalosi. Shalosi. Now, off you go and thank you, dear. Or is this Shiloki? I don't know. Oh, we're using this one. I don't care for this one. I don't for... Uh, nah, I actually don't. <laughs> you get this one for doing the Endwalker story, and you get it. This is Heidelin's dog. I'll play enough. In a way. You know, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna keep it at that for now. This is Heidelin's dog. <laughs> Yep. Hey Dodo, how you doing? Don't go extinct. Hmm. You can tell. Um. Yeah, you you can tell that the instances here are a little dead, and people are, I think are already done with the game. Like, look at me. I've been spending a month just playing the story at my own pace. I mean, granted, when I get to the end game, I'm gonna do grinding and everything off screen. You do not need to see that. And when a new story comes out, I'll be on it and record a video. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna level up. I'm gonna finish doing Sage. Sage is up there with Gunbreaker. I did a little Machinist. Eh. I think I'm a melee class. I'll be leveling up first as Samurai, because I was a Samurai for a long time. Hey, I'm here. Huh. 
How you doing? Hey, Shalosi. Good. That's my last. That was my last of my last soul cells. I could have really died there. Thanks for your help, by the way. So, um, what brings you out here to the middle of nowhere? I was sent by a woman. Auntie Nakata sent you after me. That makes two people who just saved my life. Then, would you mind coming to me to see her? I want her to know I'm safe and grateful. Besides. You know, I just thought of it. When I get flight, I would laugh and extremely doubt it because it will be hard, too hard from the program and MMRPG. I would laugh if you fly an electric mount in the sky, but also that's why all those thunder poles are on the ground, of course, which would explain why you won't. But I would laugh if you had a chance to get struck by lightning using like metal mounts in the sky. But I uh, have the lightning towers do their thing and attract all the lightning, just like the thunder planes in Final Fantasy X. Uh, <laughs> wonder why I made that noise. Jumping. But I. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yep, she's being told off. Welcome back, dear. I can't thank you enough for rescuing my, this poor, reckless fool of a girl. You're not a child anymore, Sholo. Act your age. Now, what do you say to the kind stranger who saved your life? <laughs> I know I've already told you once before, but thank you, truly. I'm Shalosi, and I'm in charge of Yippie's Halo. To tell you the truth, I'm still learning how everything works. I used to be in the... L Electro engineer, but for some reason the government reassigned me. And I'm not not okay. The farmers, the farm's coin keeper, or a resident nag, depending on who you ask. Might we get your name, hero? Bader tour, good. Bader rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? That's a that's a name you best not forget, Shalo. You'd be dead were it not for him. Now, why in the world would you leave the safety of the outskirts all by yourself? You've been acting so strangely lately. Uh, of late. It's clear you're hiding something, so what is it? There's really... There really is no getting anything past you, is there? Fine, I'll explain. But you have to promise to keep it a secret for now, alright? The truth is, I noticed the farm's harvest have been shrinking year over year. And I can't for the life of me figure out why. The staff are doing great work in the former engineer. And as the form a former engineer, I can say for certain that the equipment is in proper working order. I even checked the pylons, and the readouts were totally normal. But I know there's a problem, and the longer we wait, the worse it will get. Oh. Oh, sorry. In a few years, the crops may stop growing entirely, so it has to be done. While it, sounds, uh, while it sounds serious, and I appreciate that you're taking incentive to solve it. But I worry about you, Shalo. I can't ha have you put your life in danger. No, 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 no. Vader, would you be willing to help her look into the matter? Uh, bad news, ma'am. At now, sire, your idea of normal is sure to be different from ours. I reckon a fresh set of eyes will be able to spot something we can't. She's right. I could certainly use an unbiased perspective. Would you please help me out, Vader? I mean, I get, uh, technically, I'm going to say yes, but in the future, I don't know if I'm going to show back up. Right then. With that said, I think the two, uh, I think what you two need now is a good meal. Have a seat, and your Auntie Nikita will fix you some fresh veggies. Huzzah.
Sorry. Text message. supply there. Alright, we'll do these two, and then, um, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh. The reason why is if my brother is showing up, we're doing yard work today, so if that's him, I hear a dog barking. Oh, I hear the hedgehogs drinking out of the bottle. They're loud drinkers. No, actually, no, sorry. The bottle's a little, you can hear the bottle because the two balls inside a pet bottle cling back and forth. They're loud eaters, though. Like I said, I'm the hedgehog's retirement home. Uh, let's get to this. Right now, my headphones off, so I'm not hearing any music or anything. <clears throat> Alright, we have two quests here I need to do. Wait, no, actually, where is the other quest? Oh, it's down there. Oh, God, that's really far away. Yapoya. Fight for survival. Oh, that's an interesting way to spell fight. Or I could say fiat. Just to really annoy you. So, yeah, sorry for the long period of silence. <laughs> Fight for survival. <laughs> Fight for survival. Yapoi is gazing anxiously up and down the path. Excuse me, do you have a moment? If you're heading south, I would ask a few. I would ask a favor. Our friend went out to study the plant life and has been back. He has a bad habit of getting absorbed in his work and losing track of time. Last I saw him, he was heading southeast of here. If you could check on him, I would sorely appreciate it. Alright. Off I go. Oh, I'm being followed. Run. Run, fat choco. Wow. That looked cool. Alright, we're looking for my friend. Or his friend. Their friend. Someone's friend. Oh, wait. Oh, no, they're just absorbed in a cactus. No, wait, that's not a cactus. Oh, no, it is a cactus. Now, this is a fascinating succulent. Its development is clearly abnormal. Proof, perhaps, that this species has adapted to its new environment over time. Hello there, stranger. What are you doing out here? For the matter, what am I doing out here? Did I get extracted to wander off the safe zone again? 
Uh, your boy's probably worried sick about me. I'll have to thank her for sending you. But first, we need to hurry back to the Drift Downs before some terrifying creature tries to ruin our day. Oh. Alright, buddy, follow me. Wait. Oh. Yes. Oh. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Sorry. You know, uh, I hate to say it, you know, make you safer, don't walk towards the stupid wildlife. Dude, please do not stand. No, no, no. no. Uh, where is it? Where's low blow? Ah, I can't find it. Basically there. If you get in a fight again, it's your fault. You must return to the safety of you at once. Yeah, yeah. Found him. Um, hello? I'm gonna talk to her. Oh, you're back. Um, did you find my friend, or...? Oh, I walked too fast. Really? Come on. We're right here at the end. Come on. That's right. You got this. Alright. There we go. Wow, that was weird. That was very weird. Welcome back. Glad to see you both in one piece. Forgive me, you boy. I was so focused on the plans, I nearly wandered headfirst into danger. If you hadn't sent this kind stranger my way, there's no telling what would have happened. Now, I better document my findings before I forget. Thanks again, friends. Sorry about him. He grew up in Everkeep, you see. So he's not used to seeing plants in their native habitat. The heritage found is rather unique in that regard. Thirty years ago, when the geography changed, vast swaths of native flora died out while the rest were forced to mutate drastically in order to survive. Worthy of studying, I'm sure. Still, he ought to know it's not safe out here. I wish he wouldn't be so careless. In any case, I'm grateful uh, to you keep him safe. And seeing as he didn't think to reward you for, I suppose I'll have to do it. <laughs> I swear he forgot his head. I swear he'd forget his head if it wasn't attached. Alright, we have to go south to He Who Remembers, and I'm gonna come here and activate that one. Oh, well. God, I had the golden magic tech. So useful. They got your machine guns. When they fly, the legs turn the rockets. It's actually a really cool one. Because you gotta remember, they made this way. This is the first, like, story mount you get in 14 after Chocobo and all that. Because you get this from doing the uh, major story quest uh, quest that, you're, that builds up the entire, uh, you know, time. I thought that was a person, I'm not gonna lie, until I saw the effective sentry. Alright, we gotta go this way. Alright, 
Alright, I need to touch you. Ar Archaeo Alexandria. I see remnants of the Alexandria of Final Fantasy IX, but you know what? Personally, this is not canon to me. This is its own thing. I'd hate to think this is what happened to them years after. You discovered a new location. Electro Strike. Alright, what do we have? We got Cinnabar. We got Pedal. We got Junkmonger. Uh, oh, I don't need a Mender, I can tell you that. And this should be it for me. That's all the Aetherites. And I believe the story, all the tunes. Flying, though, I will be getting later. Oh, someone's doing gathering. Have fun with that. Alright, let's go. Must move. Hmm. Yeah, you can see the major like explosion happen there. All right, we're nearing the location. Looks like a little camp. So yeah, when I'm doing this and I see vehicles like that, there's a Wii U game. Looks like I had a Wii U back in the day, everybody. A game that I never beaten, but I do want to beat one day, but it's gonna be a really long one if I do. Xenoblade Chronicles X. These remind me of, like the small facilities of the people who are out exploring the world and they have their, you know, cars and stuff because they're surveyors and all that, and you have to go to the points. Yeah. Maybe one maybe I'll do that one uh, sometime, but not next. God no. Even though I have an urge to play it now. He who remembers. Ushi's problem is perhaps best solved by an outsider like you. Hey, who's she? Now she's a face. Now here's a face I haven't seen around these parts before. Hmm. I borrow a moment of your time. You see, a member of our group has been making frequent trips up the hill to the graveyard. I suspect there's a problem, but he doesn't seem willing to talk about. Not to us anyway. A stranger willing to lend a friendly ear, however, may convince him to open up. It's not too much to ask. Will you travel, uh, travel out to the name? Name state, name slates, my bad, and speak to him. The man looking for a uh, Shitona like myself. I'm gonna take a guess and say he doesn't forget those who die, or he refuses. Does he not have a regulator? I take it, or hmm, or does he perhaps wear a fake regulator? I don't know. Maybe it's his wife. A son. A daughter. A best friend. Oh, yeah, that. Hmm. A Alexandrian, I know that by looking at it. I'm trying to think for some reason this is not no I'm not remembering anything from this honestly all right give me a second I gotta look out might as well I'm here all right wait I wonder are there any actual names on them that I can read I'm very very curious forgive me for this I am actually no, they're all illegible. Damn. I was curious. I wanted to see. Wait. No. They're, yeah, they're all faded. Darn. Maybe there's a grave in here that has a name on it, but... Problem is I don't feel like running around trying to find it. Okay. I must admit, this is not the sort of place one expects to make idle conversation with strangers. 
And you're one of those travelers from beyond the barrier everyone's been talking about. That explains why I haven't seen you around. Let me ask you something, outsider. Have you ever visited a grave to pay your specs? I have. Honoring the dead is a common aspect of many cultures, I suppose. In that case, perhaps you can help me with something. Take a stroll around the area, and if you happen to spot a particularly grimy gravestone, I ask that you wipe them off. It's a lot of work for one man alone, so your assistance would mean a great deal to me. Oh! Okay, now I understand what he's doing. Even though he does not remember, he still wants to honor them and, you know, clean the gravestones and all that. Or is he looking for somebody and all the gravestones are dirty? I don't know. What happened to the music? It broke again. There it is. I'll put it over there after. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything on the gravestones. Hmm. Eyclops. Alright. Hey man, I, I cleaned your gravestones for you. You're just trying to honor those of the past because everyone's forgotten probably this is here and don't, doesn't respect it. Th those gravestones look much better now. Thanks you. Thank you. Thanks to you. Or perhaps I should say name slates. It's too bad the names are all written in Alexandria. I can't make heads or tails of them. You know about the regulators people wear these days. Whenever someone dies, every last memory of their existence is erased. As an unfortunate consequence, this graveyard has been all but abandoned. But I'm gonna fix that. What else am I to do? Stand idly by and let my headstone be lost to time? No. If no one else will give a damn, then I... it'll have to be me. In Tyrol, I was taught to honor the dead, but here I am in the minority. Most seem content to forget and entrust their memories to the cloud. That's why you can't talk about with the others. They would they wouldn't understand. Not like you. Thanks again, stranger. Oh, that was actually a nice one. Um You know what? You get to watch me do it for this one, so get ready. No, 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 wrong one. I want collection. Alright, there's my Aetherite compass. We'll just override limit break, because I'm not using that at the moment. Alright, Northwest, let's go. You're about to see the process of learning flight, literally. It's a grind. Black Lady made it faster than it was in the past. <laughs> I, like I said, I kid you not. And I originally did this um, in uh, Heaven's Ward. I did not know there's a compass you get. And I just ran around, looked for them everywhere to get flight. Didn't know Quest held it at the time. All right, 117 Yelms North. Probably up there. Ah, the things you learn. Hey, Iclops, ignore me. Damn it. Eh, I was worried about that. Alright, we're good. Alright, this is number two? I think this is number two, because we got one at the deep downs. There we go. Closest one is... 494 north. Alright, we'll go around here, and it's probably going to be about there. Northeast? You can't do that to me. I just jumped down. Actually, you know what? We'll do this. We'll go from Yasalani Station and work my way over. 
<laughs> the problem with the eighth right compass is it tends to I mean it works okay but a lot of the time it will be attracted to other currents that technically aren't near you and so you'll be like oh north yeah the closest one is 500 yelms let's say northeast which will lead the other end of the map only to know that there was one literally right near you but the compass is like no no no, no there's one over there oh so it's probably up there oh damn Yep, there it is. There we go. Huzzah! Our closest one. North. Still hang north. Uh, well, I'm here, so I might as well do this one also. I might just level up, maybe. Get to level 100 for the dungeon. Which, if so... Oh, God, no, 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 no. Which, if so... Will give me a chance... Of using my new level 100 moves, if it's a level 99 dungeon. Oh, northeast. Oh, right. it should be here. Where? Ah, there. I forget how many are on a map. Every map usually has four quests for current. I mean, story quests for current, because I want you flying too early, and then... I forget how many they put on the map. Okay, so it's uh, 700 southwest, so now we'll teleport here, and we'll work our way down. Sure, I could run that entire distance, but uh, it's a waste of time. Alright. Yep, see, now we're at 320. I just cut a, quite a bit of distance off, and so it'll probably be around, probably right here-ish. I need to show you the flying animation for these guys. It's absolutely hilarious. I'll do that when I get flying unlocked. I'll summon just... I'll summon this one. I like him, my little black flat fat chocobo. All right, southwest. Somewhere over here. Wait, what? I... magic carpet? Oh, wait, now it's southeast. Oh, so yeah, it's probably just dead south then. Please don't be there. Please be here. Okay. Come on, come on. Don't be there. Damn it, it's there, isn't it? No, wait. East. Oh, it's up there, isn't it? All right, let's see. Can I do this or game no want me to do that? Let me see. Okay, cool. Okay, we're good, we're good. I would have hated to come around. No, you can just jump up there. Okay, okay. And then I think there's going to be another two over here, maybe. All right, let me see. Is it going to be in the west? Yes, okay. For this one, I will be going this Electro Strike. Oh, hello. What are you? Oh, that's dark. Goodbye. He's also doing what I'm doing. All right, this should be north. Okay, so somewhere there. Got it. We're working on it. We got the side quest done. We're gonna get flying. Uh, maybe I'll have time to do the dungeon. 
All right, now what kind of north? This north, that north, just north. Okay, we'll just go around this giant rock. It might be here, actually, now I think about it. It's way too soon for it to show up. It's 200 away still. It has to be over the bridge, like over there. Yeah. I appreciate if you stop shooting me. Like I said, appreciate if you stop shooting me. Thank you. All right, it's up there probably. Yeah, it's gonna be like right there. Okay. this last one or I have one more nope one more south oh yeah heavy south all right I'm gonna take a quick shortcut and just teleport back to that even though it's not that far I can see it from here and I think it's gonna be about right there maybe and this will 100% be the last one Southwest, so yeah, probably here. Don't shoot me. Hmm. All right. I'm not worrying about that. I'm just gonna get down over here. Print. I'll hate snakes. I, I hate snakes. All right, southwest. The submerged skyline. South, I passed it. There it is. All right. Oh. And now I should have flying. There we go. So. I told you I was going to show you. So this mount is absolutely hilarious, and I'll tell you why. Uh, it'll do its thing for a little Gishel Greens, but when it wants to fly, it's cake. Look how much you want that cake. Oh, I want that cake. That's why they fly, is they really, really want this actually Pretty good looking piece of cake. And that's how he flaps so hard, is he really wants his cake. Nope. Can't go any farther, shame. Yeah. Look at all that. Now the problem is, can I swim down there? No, there's no swimming here, okay. I was curious to see if I could submerge myself under the water and find stuff. Uh, okay, let's go north. I have to go and check that out. Then we have to go here and do those two. And then the map's done. Alright, let's get over there. Ah. This is the top of this structure I couldn't get to.
the Spire of Trial. I have n uh, What are you doing here? Apologies, but this area is restricted if you come. Is this gonna be the... Yeah, is this gonna be the... The raid? Is this gonna be where the raid takes place? Uh, what are you doing here? Apologies for the is restricted. Hmm. Maybe. You're not giving much information. And thus I disappeared. And now let's finish this map off. And I have every map for this expansion. All areas of flight unlocked. We're all good to go. Oh wait, there am I up to the north. But now I can also do trials and not trials, but the uh, duties. Uh, what are they called? Fates. Thank you, brain. We can also now fly around and do fate trains if we both want to do those. Everything. Heritage found. Complete. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got flight in all the areas. Maps are all complete. Alright. Well, I'm gonna take a break. I gotta go do stuff. Alright, I'm back. Let's finally... Do this dungeon. The Resilient Sun. Kakuya wishes to take you to the entrance of Orgenix. The entrance of to Orgenix is located on the back of Teverkeep. We can reach it by the water. Come. We head to the pier at the Drift Downs. Oh, I thought we were... That was a waste. Okay. Oh, we get flying behemoth instead. Okay. See, aren't you glad I have flying? Because now I can just head straight there. Hey guys, I'm here. So we just have to make our way up. Seems nice and straightforward to me. Ha, I wish. We're going to ride that oversized container, are we? Don't worry, you won't catch me mewling over seasickness anymore. A facility for processing souls. As distressing as the very concept is, I confess I'm curious to see the technolo technology employed. This ability is quite poor, but let us trust in our allies to ferry us safely over. I'll now explain how this mission will unfold. Alright. Orgenix takes delivery at specific times. It, uh, it is at one such time that we will enter the facility aboard the hover cargo. Telusa here will pilot the vehicle, so you need only sit tight until we arrive at the entrance. Our friends in the back room will create a diversion so we can steal inside. After which, we'll make our way to the summit, striking down any foes that bar our path. Easy, yes? Easy to say, perhaps, but we'll manage one way or another. That we will. In anticipation of the unexpected, we should maintain contact with the support crew and adapt to any necessary. 
Indeed, I shall use the communicator I borrowed from Shale to keep them informed at all times. I see everyone has a grasp of the details. Good. We saw it very soon, so be ready. We're finally going in there. Where is it? It's gonna pop up. Here comes the dungeon. There it is. Orgenics now accessible. As usual, I will be going with my AI companions. Just one second. Orgenics, a level 99 dungeon. Now, give me a second. Have they ever done that before? Yep, they have. Okay. Orgenics. While his evasion force defeated, Zoroja has turned on his own people, killing them to empower himself with their souls. Now he awaits Wokulma at the summit of Everkeep. And if you are to reach him, you must fight your way through our Gen Argenix, or Genix, the facility for processing souls of the departed. Guided by the members of Oblivion, you and your comrades sally forth for the grueling climb to the ro 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 roiling storm clouds above. Let's do it. All right. Let's see. Am I happy with this? Graha is going to be a healer. Uh, okay. Alize, you're sitting this one out. Let's go. Or Gen X. Feels like Final Fantasy 7. Oh, that's breaking out, 100%. Let's go. This body isn't made for combat, so I'll hang back. Understood. Let's do this. Actually in the building. This is where the fun begins. Probably. Let me fix my chair. That's better. Alright. 
All right, we can't talk to you. Understood. Elevator console, let's do this. Whew, the diversion did a trick. Let's push straight to the middle level. There should be another bright elevator further in. Use it to head up. That's gonna break out immediately. I can, I... All right, let's do this. They didn't break out. I'm shocked. <laughs> the main regulators. They all used to belong to somebody. Wow, that... All these are regulate? Oh, wow. Look at all these souls and regulate. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, there's an information terminal. Let's see. Where upon rows of names are shown in terminal display. It appears to be a list of those who are recently taken to the cloud. Might Namakia be among them? Oh, hello. What's your name? Don't care.
that's slaying, sadly, so it's not useful for me. What's the weather? Thunderstorms. Dead end. Don't wait. Not the best camouflage now, is it? Oh, wait. single one of them. Instructions in the processing manual must be strictly observed as we have charge of the realm's most vital resource. Actions resulting in damage or loss constitute a serious crime. First stage extraction. Okay, here we go. We're reading about this entire thing. Mixed aether compromise of both memory and soul is extracted from regulators and transferred, transferred into uh, the stabilizing tanks. As hastening extraction increases the risk of damage, the rate must not be adjusted except in the event of emergency. Oh, we might be, we're gonna screw up Zorulja maybe. Priorities, observation subject, identification number 161127 named. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. To our data, this is where solar stripped of memories. Indeed, the souls are the white matter and they're being sent to Zorosia. Wait, what if we give him all the memories? Maybe that'll break him. Hmm. Second stage separation mixed aether is put through the etheric separ separator and divided into its souls and memory compounds. Soul Aether is then converted to the upper Orgenix for file processing and memory Aether into Meso Terminal. Route and location is classified. Unless expressly specific, the memories of fiends are discarded. Okay. That's a lot of people. Oh, wait, it just hit me. I need to... I, it just hit me, I forgot all about it. Let's, uh... Put Limit Break back on, no longer need the compass, eh? Yeah, Resilient Sun and all that. Oh. 
What's after me? Oh. That was an accident. for the next boss which looks like a robot maybe no that's wrist flip, flip aiming um the deceiver it looks like the lady from uh the queen from the uh the raid with diablos because the hand's in the back. All right, let's go.
did it. I'm level 100, baby. And we got a ring of fending. Perfect. I need one. One second. How much better is this ring? All right. Ugh. Yeah, no, that's a really good ring. Give me a second. Recommended. Good. And we're good. And yeah, give me a second. Actions are there. Now I can do Noble Blood, which delivers Reign of Beast. Hmm. I'll have to, you know, use those in battle to see what they do. Soul Management Division. This won't be comfortable, but intruders can't, intruders can't be choosers. Oh. We're being uh, sold. Like, okay. I'm afraid this is where our data ends. You're on your own now. Are you not gonna come? All right. Oh, no, she is coming. Okay. The souls are being cleansed prior to storage. That they should make it past Deceiver. Alright, let's go. Oh, wait, Reign of Beast. Oh, it's a new combo entirely. around and see I'm sorry if I'm not doing really good combos I'm you know reading about that all right savage materia but let's read this third station purification separate souls undergo thorough cleansing the removal of residue uh, res residual memories that the purifying light is harmful to organic beings so utmost care must be taken during the procedure even the slightest contamination may lead to the memory of personality disorders within the user. As such, each and every soul must be cleared using the precision detector. Having completed the aforementioned process, a soul may finally be made available to the people of Alexandria. Your efforts have been essential for the functioning of our nation, and we thank you for undertaking your duties with diligence. Now, the thing is, is, is are these going the speed they should, or did he speed it up and he's about to get some bad souls? I am very curious. second i'm trying to ready to rain what gives me ready to rain one second i'm actually trying to figure this out as i go so where's um no mercy grants ready to break which then gives you that which gives yeah
Oh, my blood's fastest. Okay, 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 okay. See, I'm learning. Uh, okay, these two are connected. Okay, so keep those next to each other. Log 216, Subject Ambrose. Experiment sees a soulless body infused with multiple souls, including those of beasts, via a prototype multi regulator. Subject currently behaves within the parameters of a living person, but displays advanced symptoms of personality breakdown and destructive tendencies. This is all but certainly due to an overdominance of peril souls. Yet, while the subject possesses phenomenal strength, it cannot be reliably controlled, rendering it un fit for purpose. Future experiments must be focused on imposing loyalty and obedience. I can take a guess what the final boss is going to be then. One of those things. A feral beast full of soul. Sorry, we're about to put you down. I mean, it's probably a blessing for you, not gonna lie. Okay, let me get out of here. I would try low blow, but... I'm not 100% sure if that'll work. All right, the boss is in there. I'm gonna start getting stacks. I'm not using blood vest yet. Back off. Let me see. Low blow. No, no, no. No, I'm done. That hurt. Testing grounds. Wait, they're gonna get their souls taken out. Um, Eden? Ambrose the Undeparted. You look like the Eden fight. Garden of Eden. Ambrose, the undepotted. Oh god, this aura is very wrong. Oh, well that means this is gonna be a fun fight. Let's do this, baby!
Dragons are gonna take the souls. That was a cool dungeon. Yeah. Got it. Oh. That's some... Hmm. I mean, I'll wear the earrings. I need those. Cutscene. Not opening. Shale, can you see to the lock? Just a moment. What kind of monstrosity is Zorosha turning himself up to up there? I wonder. Hmm. And for reliable. Follow the passage inside and you'll come to an elevator. It'll take you to the 11th level. 
Right. Let's keep moving. And then we'll probably see a, some of Sphine's dirty secrets up there too, because no one's ever been there. It's only them, those two. So I'm curious what dirty secrets we're gonna find of theirs. Wow, look at all those secrets. Actually, those are all packaged souls. Yeah. Although a lot of them are dark. <sighs> the 11th level, just below the summit. Look, soul cells. This is where they're kept. What? Then these are all dead people. Indeed. Many died in the attack. Their souls would have been processed and transported here for storage. Or so I had expected. A soul cell is supposed to light up green when loaded, isn't it? Yet the light is out on most of these. Yeah, Zorilja took him. <gasps> How many souls can a regulator hold? Don't tell me he's already used them up. That's why he cut down one of his own for the regulator. Who's there? It's going to be Sphine. Nope, never mind. Oh, wait, what? What are you guys doing here? Alphano and Yishtola and Astinian, too. I wasn't expecting to see you guys here. Lest you wonder, all is well in Taral. The enemy has withdrawn, freeing us up to come and lend you a hand. The backroom crew gave us a briefing. No rest for the righteous as usual, eh? The idea of empowering oneself with souls is rather reminiscent of void sent practices. I should be keen to learn more about the process after more pressing matters have been resolved. <laughs> I believe I speak for everyone when I say I'm glad you're here. As you'll have heard, the Alexandrians have suffered heavy casualties. We must stop Zoralja before it gets any worse. Uh, onward to the summit. Let's not get you know, too carried away. I thank you for coming with me this far, my friends. And I ask you to lend me your strength one last time. Together, let us defeat Zorolja and safeguard the future of Tulihyolal. And here is where I must excuse myself. Come back in one piece. You hear me? We will. Every one of us. This, I believe, is the perfect spot to stop. Oh, never mind. Damn it. I thought this was gonna be like quest completed. Now I need to get on the elevator and then I can end it. But nope, we're doing this. Oh, it's gonna be a battle, a trial. All right, what kind of beast is Arolja? Is the portal? No. What in the world is that? Isn't that the void? It couldn't be. Oh yeah, it's a, a void, void gate. gate. Yeah, I thought so. I'm like, that looked really familiar. It's enormous. Aye, it dwarfs even the ones Aromas opened. is no void gate. 
It doesn't lead to the 13th. Then... This is the one that leads to the... the yes. The shard, the reflection. It's a portal to yet another reflection. By the 12th. To think that realities being fused together was only the beginning. The speculation must wait. He's here. Now, what's he gonna look like? Oh, god damn it, it's like the Crystal Tower again. You don't look good, man. Are you okay? He went and absorbed too many souls. He can't control them. There is a limit to how much ether a living being can harbor while retaining its physical form. Zeralja has far exceeded that limit. His body's about to tear itself apart. With the souls he has absorbed, he has attained power to rival even a king among Void Scent. But at a terrible cost. Twelve have mercy. There is no saving him. He is gone. Brother? There is no brother anymore. It ends here and now. That's a walking bag of souls. Is this going to be like the innocence battle where we start fighting him and then his skin rips apart and he just transforms into something else? It vexes when you call me brother. Brother, blood heir, resilient son. Who am I? What is my path? Why was I born? Hey, you don't get no sympathy for me. I am Wuklamat, Vow of Resolve of Tuli Hyolo. And you are Zorolja, King of Resolve of Alexandria. For the last time, we fight for duty, for blood, for everything. Oh, wait, he just... Oh, he pulled yes, himself together. we fight. Oh. Hold nothing back. This multitude of souls I shall burn to the last moat. That's a man about to transform into something. You and prove the miracle. I will prove that I am father's true successor. Ever keeps now accessible. Damn it! What is this theme? Hey, hey, man, here. Oh, I can't though. Okay. So here's the thing. This episode's been going on for a while. So next time I go, I'll be starting here. So yeah, next time we'll be going against the resilient son himself. I'll see you. Goodbye.